good morning students welcome back to our class that is innovation management uh, today we are going to start with our fifth unit our uh, organizational structure and innovation uh, in this we are going to learn the last two topics so first you should have to know what do you mean an organization structure then you should have to know what is the meaning of innovation see uh, in your management in your first semester and second semester you may have learned about organization and how it's the structure and how the innovation takes place now once again i'm just combining these two words and i'm just giving a simple meaning for that so that you can make people is able to understand and what are the meaning uh, definition and how the what are the different types of organizational structures are there you are going to learn in this topic now an organizational structure is a system that outlines how certain activities are directed in order to achieve the goals of an organization so it means certain activities will be placed in such a way that uh, it is used to achieve the goals of the organizations in a proper way and these activities includes what are the rules some rules will be their responsibilities will be their roles will be their some terms and conditions will be there that every employee should have to follow within the organization and it creates a structure the organizational structure also determines how information flows between levels in the company that means the passing of the information will takes place in which way whether in a proper way or mismanagement is taking place or not now innovation what do you mean by innovation innovation is uh, commonly known as carrying out of new combination or new ideas or introducing a new goods or ideas or facts with the help of technology now innovation is commonly defined as a carrying out of new combinations that include the introduction of new goods and innovation is something original and more effective and as a consequence new that breaks into the market or society so if when we are talking about the organization such an innovation innovation means bringing the new ideas or goods or strategies in the market an organizational structure means how these ideas will be structured in a proper way or implementing in proper way. so after having the idea it should go to be structured in a proper way in the organization that is known as the organizational structure innovation over here so we are having different types of we are having what are the types of organizational structures organizational structure consists of two things one is the mechanical structure another one is the organic structure so the first one is mechanical structure consists of six various again sub structures related to it. what are those the line organization line and staff organization functional organization matrix organization committee organization and product organizations coming to the organic structure the we are having five various sub structures what are those inverted pyramid virtual organization cellular organizations boundary less organizations team structure now we will see the images of uh, all these types of structures organization from the line organization to the team structure so first we will go with the line structure that is the mechanical structure so the line organization structure is nothing but it is related from top most manager to the low level employee so uh, the general manager will give the instructions to the marketing manager production manager and finance manager again here the production manager will call to his foreman like that the marketing manager will call to his salesman or uh, executive order from the finance manager will call to his administrator or whom it may be junior manager or assistant manager a chain is there so this is known as the line organized structure again this foreman will call to his workman so the workman will do the work under the observation of the foreman and the foreman will provide the information or he will give the production uh, related information to the production manager and the production manager will come and observe the site after doing the satisfaction level of the work he will report to the general manager again the general manager will inform the same data and information to his top most management people and this is the line organization structure now we'll go with the second one that is the line and staff organization in the line and staff organization that means not only line it is related to the staff also from starting point to the ending point so here the md is the managing director director 
the managing director will be of again of different departments like economic assistant mechanical technical finance marketing etc so the managing director will inform to production manager again the production manager that means uh, will provide the information to the system engineer r and d information technical expert and mission again this for, uh, production manager will give the information to the foreman this foreman will have his supervisor a with his one team and supervisor b another team and they are sub workers laborers who are working under them so this is a line and staff management is combining over here now we will go the functional organization in this what is happened functions what are the functions of an organization planning organizing uh, staffing directing of which of different department we are having finance department marketing department hr department r and d department it department product department all those things so if i take so the president who will be the head of the organizations he will call to, under his all these managers will be marketing manager finance manager hr manager r and d department manager divisional product or manufacturing unit manager again it will design so the r and d will go for the department of design department development department testing department again the information pass from finance manager accounting department purchasing department finance department marketing sales department customers department it will go divisional product line supervision production distribution so this all process will come under the functional organization how the organization should have to function it has been mentioned in this way so why the structures has been given because there should not be any kind of conflict in future as there should not be any kind of disturbance in the work it is a total change where everyone should have to work in an accurate way next we are having matrix organizations So in the matter of notion, the all the departments will be concerned. The general manager will be head. The he will get the information from the production manager, finance manager, marketing management, R and D department, IT department, HR manager will be provide for them. Uh, then what's the project they are utilizing? Project project B, project C managers, and they will go for the production group, finance group. Uh, marketing group personal group all these things will be in such a way this is the matter how it is going on now if you see committee organization when a group of committee will be the committee so the board of directors sit together and we are having executive committee member will be there finance committee member will be there then these members will inform or gather information from general manager give instruction to general manager again this general manager will have his promotion committee purchase committee and materials manager committee and production manager so they will collect the information and inform to the board and they will get the instruction from the board and the general manager will give the instructions to all these sub boards so this way is known as community organizations coming to the product organizations when a product has been selected of a company like which product it is it is a healthy product or beauty product or food or consumable product or admin and finance one so in the health department what they will do who is the what is the r and d department is taking place what is the who is the manufacturing where is the manufacturing unit who is the head of the manufacturing who is the head of the finance who is the head of the marketing and customer service coming to the admin human resource will be there procurement supervisor or the manager will be the finance manager will be the communication and training and safety personnel and the legal advisor or the advocate will be there for protecting the company all this People should come under the administration and finance department. Again, they will come to the CEO. So the CEO will be the head governing body of all the departments of all the managers. Now we will go with the next one. That is organic structure. In the organic structure. The first one is the inverted pyramid. In the inverted pyramid, what is happening? See in the triangle. What is happening from low level manager to the middle level manager, and from middle level manager to the top level manager information goes but here it is reverse inverted so in this first the customers comes what are the customers have having the feedback they will inform to the marketing employees or the people who are working in the showroom or the mart again this information pass comes to from to the executive team who are the marketing manager or finance or hr manager then they it will goes to the in the hands of the general manager or manager or from them again it will goes into the hands of the board of directors or ceo So totally, it is different. So depending on this information, also they will we will go for the innovation and we will have to go for the R&D. Then only 
uh, the R&D department will take either we have to modify a new feature in the product or we have to stop the manufacturing unit they will take the decision depending on the data or information ritual organization here what is happening it is a particular information about an organizations so from outsider or inside the external what are the people who are providing the uh, information or inside so in the home office what is happening employees are coming on a flexible time or not and they are completing the pro programs or not employees in satellite office are same country are they are in the same co office or same country or not are employees in a different country are they are independent contractors are dependent contractors how the telecommunications are communication is taking place how the vendor is taking place that means uh, the suppliers are the manufacturing unit is taking place properly in a proper communicated way or not all these things will be taking place in the proper way now we'll go with the cellular organization the cellular organization this is the main foundation the management will be there and again this management will depend on the main five uh, managers who are those the finance manager should be there, sales manager should be there, production manager, research and development manager and design manager. So all these, these are the seller people who are working for the organizations. Without these, the management can't take decisions or can't work for the future course of our actions. To develop the schemes and theories, we need the proper information about the uh, Introduction of a new growth of a product or bringing the or launching of a new product in the market in proper design and R and D department is compulsory. After cutting and taking the decision from R and D department only, the management will ask the production department to produce. Again, the, the production management will ask for the term of raw materials where the management will ask the finance manager to provide the mandatory terms fulfilled by both the teams and departments. After manufacturing the production, the production departments inform to the sales team or marketing team. So this work is totally to sell it in the market so that again in returns they have to fulfill all their expenditures plus profit. Then only the business or the management can run for the long term in the market. So this is a totally seller organization is taking place over here. Now we are having a team structure. In the team structure, who is there? What is our strategy? What is our delivery? See here, the chief executive will be there, CEO will be there, and personal assistant will be there for him. So he will provide the money, and the deputy chief executive will be there. Again, we are having different kinds of different uh, people: the managers, or finance officer, uh, R&D department, employment, or HR department, PR. All these people will come again. There sub team people should come. So it is a teamwork from the starting of the point to the lower of the time. It isn't just an example which I have just shown you on the screen. Now, so these are the things where we are going to learn uh, about the structure of the organizations. It means we are having mechanical structure as well as the organizational structures. So with this, uh, we have completed, I mean, the topic, the organizational structure. So I hope students you have understand the concept. If anything is there, please mention uh, in the comment box and mention your roll numbers in the comment box also. Thank you. Have a nice day.